Hi, my name is Tim and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Brother Sewing Machine. Now, without further ado, let's get into this. Okay, so I recently just bought a Brother Sewing Machine uh, so that uh, I'm able to do embroideries uh, for my mom and pop shop. Uh, the sewing machine that I bought uh, was from Brother and uh, I believe the model number is LB6810 and uh, I have uh, some uh, positive things to say about uh, this sewing machine uh, because I was able to uh, embroider uh, something or an image uh, adequately uh, and let's just talk about uh, before uh, what you do uh, prior to uh, embroidering so you, what you do is you actually select an image and then you digitize the image on the computer software. And once you digitize the image, you're able to uh, put it into the sewing machine. This digitizing of images actually gives the uh, image a uh, layer of uh, numbers and digits or, and colors. So it assigns colors, numbers and digits to uh, each parts of the image. and then you're able to uh, sew or embroider that image. Digitizing is actually very difficult and uh, I was able to uh, digitize something uh, because I'm computer literate like that and uh, it worked out uh, rather nice. Okay, so I have a video of uh, the embroidery machine in question and I'll play that for you now. Okay, so this is the Brother LB6810 Embroidery and Sewing Machine. Uh, as you can see here, it has a screen right there uh, and a touchpad on the side. Uh, this will allow you to be able to uh, select which embroidery you want uh, to use. Uh, this right here is the speed. Uh, you can adjust the speed in order to be able to... Uh, uh, so faster and uh, what actually happens here is you put the thread here and then you uh, circulate it around according to these images and then it evidently goes down to the foot and in the needle uh, this embroidery machine uh, was pretty good at uh, sewing and let me just show you a sample of uh, what I had embroidered this is what I had embroidered and it looks pretty okay uh, so yeah okay so as you see the embroidery machine is uh, uh, two pieces you attach the end and the, you attach the uh, main unit and that's how you're able to embroider uh, let's talk about the criteria that we're gonna be using in order to be able to assess uh, how good this sewing machine is okay we'll talk about the speed We'll, and then we'll talk about the quality and we'll talk about the design, okay? So to simplify things, let's, let's talk about the design. The design of the uh, embroidery machine. Uh, as you notice, uh, I've pointed out the screen. It could have had a color screen and a fully touch uh, um, panel. Uh, that could have been uh, better. Uh, or I, that could have been an improvement on uh, the design. So I'm not really happy about that. Uh, the usability was very, very easy. I was able to actually uh, follow the instructions on the images on the unit itself in order to be able to uh, thread my threads uh, into the needle. So that worked out uh, really okay. Uh, so the, the machine was really easy to use and uh, all you got to do is really follow the images uh, that are on the machine. Okay, so we'll talk about the speed. The speed of embroidering is not very quick. Okay, so like it, it took me like maybe like 30 minutes to embroider uh, the image that I had shown you on that video clip. Alright, so if we were to give this uh, embroidery machine a rating, I suppose we could give it a rating of uh, 4 out of 5 and mainly because uh, it's missing a color screen and the speed of uh, embroidering was uh, quite slow although uh, you're able to adjust the speed uh, 
I think uh, that uh, four out of five uh, suffices. Uh, I do recommend this unit uh, specifically for beginners, uh, and uh, this is a really good unit to be able to start off with. Alright, so we have reached the end of the video. If you like this video, please press the like button. If you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to write a comment on the comment sections, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and goodbye.